Right then, look at that folks. Right ahead of me is higher hair nap and lower hair nap. Now look at that great big mound there. That's Dalesborough Hill Fort. I've walked all around it and all through it in the past. And over there you've got the trig point, which I don't feel I have to go to. So I'm going down here and I'm going to go straight across. So that's fine. You don't have to do the trick point, you know what I mean? We know it's there, but there's some people on it anyway. I'm going to go this way. It's beautifully and warm. Do you know what? My bones are warm. Now I have got a spare top. Not a jumper. I did make a decision not to bring a jumper, right? So, that was good. Do you know, I still think I might have done the lower hair nap last time. I'm not 100% sure. But I'm going to do the higher one today. Something just tells me I did do the lower one, you know. It joins up. They both join up. Look at that. Now look at that. You see that scene? That is the place I love. My Eden, that is. I've got to turn off just to take right it. Right then, so I found, it's been very straightforward, hasn't it? I haven't had to think at all. I've just gone down one track, down another, all linking up. And I've just taken some lovely pictures of the horses there. I can't see a thing, by the way. A couple of ponies there. Munching away. And then, here we go. We've got lower hair nap. I really think I might have done lower hair nap. There's a... The combs opening up over the house, slaughterhouse comb, shepherd's comb, hodder's comb. Um, all the combs opening up. And uh, I just feel I might have done that one. But anyway, today I'm doing this one. I won't know unless I look on there. And I, of course I've been, all, I've been here loads of times. Up and down different routes. Walking up another track that would have taken me to the trick point. I'm not bothered about not doing the trick point. You, after when you've done everything in the past, you don't always feel you've got to reach the trick point. And anyway, there's there's a car up there. I'm going to see that as my, my main point to head for. There's some sheep. And the beautiful Dowsborough Hill Fort, look at that. Almost looks like it's got a cross in the middle, doesn't it? Elon Musk would like that. Doesn't he? <laughs> He's put his mark on the hill. A cross, an X. Just going to walk quietly for a minute. I would have been coming down, there's a bit of a post over there and then you weave your way down, down through Shepherd's Coombe or you go on the higher paths deep down into the, the fords where the streams are. And over there, oh, um, somebody. We've got Dalesborough Hill Fort. We'll let them go ahead. They look quicker than me anyway. We just have a look for deer while we're here. There could be some down there. Could be. I didn't bring the binoculars, did I? people there. I'll, get that, I'll just let them go ahead. Some people walking from down, well no, one's running and one's got a bike. Caters for everyone here. But look at that lovely hill for, isn't it gorgeous? 
Now they haven't felt the need to cut the trees down there, have they? Do you know what I mean? They haven't felt like we've got to destroy the trees. They look after them there. Yeah, they're not carrying any packs. So basically they'd be able to walk quite freely, those people. Yeah, there's a single tree over there. I'm not going to shine over there because the sun's in the way, but not far from that tree, I, I quite often go down into a coombe over there. And uh, <clears throat> I can't remember the name of it now. I haven't done it for a long time. Could be called, I think it might be called Ladies Coombe, actually. Do you? Yeah, so I, I'll, I'll edit you out. <laughs> Oh no, I'll point the camera away, I'm talking to myself. Yeah, yeah that's not fair. No. <laughs> Do you swap? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, we're already there up the hill, look. Don't take them long, do it? Of course, down, down further, just not very far, there's the other path, lower hair nap. Some people do a circular, go down one, up the other, or vice versa. More people will come soon. And from the trig point, you can come down from over there. If I'd wanted to do the trig point, I would have walked along and then come down this way, but I didn't feel like it. I did it last time. Oh, as well in the last couple of years I've been right through the fort, walked through it, around it. I've done that several times. And it's well defined. When you get inside that hill, the features of a hill fort are very prominent and they are protected and cared for. Are they? Yeah. The single tree, the solo tree. Of course, up in Hadrian's Wall area, somebody cut down the sycamore tree that's been like a landmark there for a long time. Somebody hacked it down. I think they were arrested for it. It was a well-known global tree. Photographed by many people. I don't know if I... It's a possibility I did that section of Hadrian's Wall in 2014. I can't remember now if I did that bit, that bit, because I didn't do it all. Right, I'm going to turn off for a bit, going uphill. love this place so like I say I feel blessed really and it's nice to have the place to myself because it is a Saturday it's a nice day and uh, a lot of people I would have thought would start coming out here and like now so when I get to Holford Green there's every chance there won't be a seat. But some people don't go far really, they just drive and then start stuffing their faces. I mean over at Crocombe Car Park, over the hill there, they have an ice cream van. Yeah. Shoot, I thought you were going to turn it off. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Right, there's our beautiful coombs down there, everyone. See them? Beautiful combs, so distinctive. Some more people coming.
cows and sheep over there. Somewhere, oh, yeah, they're gone. Oh, there they are. Cows and sheep. Right, folks, I'm heading for that. Two bikers have stopped there for a few minutes, admiring the view. I've just got my next set of fluids out. I've drunk a whole bottle of water. I'm top, I've topped up, you see, in advance, not waiting to be thirsty. Right, anyway, this is like a parade, isn't it, here? If you think about it, it's just like a parade, various branches leading off to different combs, different areas, Hinkley Point over there, and we're just going to go up on the car and, and uh, I did place a stone up here, the same stone that someone else might place, um, if I see a stone I'll pick one up and can't see, it's a lot mistier today because you can't see steep home. You can hardly see the Brenham on Sea and things like that. It's very cloudy today, but that could be pollution. There's been a lot of wildfires. Though they haven't spoken about it much lately. The wildfires. Look at those sheep there. Aren't they sweet, look. I'd have to get a picture. Right, yeah, I'll we'll turn it on. off to get a picture. I just get to the car before more people come because you get, you can't have it to yourself otherwise. I'm sure it was it used to be a lot bigger. Um, the rangers probably come and keep an eye on it, you know, and maybe reduce it a bit. I don't know. Look at those sheepies. Sheltering under that little tree. Oh God, it does look much smaller. Does it? Yeah. Well, I'll put a big one on top. I expect this one's been on top before. This is for my family, dead and alive. There we are. My family, dead and alive. Art thing over there. Look, we've got some cows enjoying the sunshine. Look, they've got calves there. They seem to be all right. This sort these sort of cows. Right? Now I'll be going down over there in a minute. I went up across the top last time. I remember I decided to go up and round. But I'm going to carry on my normal route, which is normally that way. Yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, it can be blowing a, a hoolie up here. It's a little bit blowy. That's an interesting little feature there, isn't it? Someone's scooped out. This is a, don't forget, this would be a burial mound here. I haven't seen that before. Let me take, turn off and take a picture. What I should do really is have um, the other camera for taking pictures. But at the moment I'm, um, I'm using the same camera. Anyway, that's my little piece of rock art I've put on top for my family, dead or alive. That's like all of them. And the ancestors. I put that on top of higher hair nap carn, everyone. Higher hair nap carn. I'll take some more pictures of it in a minute. Yeah, this is this is a big this mound here will be burial. For sure. We won't go too near the cows because they have got calves. 
What a beautiful view though folks. And I've walked not long that I think I often walk around a lower track on there, but I, I go over the top as well. I've done this so many times. I just love it, folks. And these lovely combs. They're magical. Wordsworth, I'll just bring them up again. I do every time. Wordsworth Coleridge and Wordsworth's sister Dorothy, when they lived at, uh, around here, at Old Fox and House over there, and Samuel Coleridge in Nether Stowey. They walked these hills. They got inspired by these hills. They loved them. And many of their great poems were created here. They were created here. And you can see why. Because this place is magnificent. And if I don't get out here again to the spring, because I can't risk... The reason for that is if I can't risk hanging about in the cold for a bus. Oh God, it's so gorgeous, isn't it? So I put a little rock, a couple of little stones on the top there for my family. They'll be knocked down. They always are. But they keep the same pile of stones and you can keep creating different shapes. And um, things like that. Right, I'm going to turn off a minute. 